Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Now, you've read the title. I thought I need to address this, man. I keep personally seeing it on eBay. It's driving me insane. But one of my good friends did get scammed. And I thought, you know what? Enough's enough. The video needs to happen. And it is the fake Charizards that is currently going around on eBay. Now, there's always been fake cards on eBay. There's nothing new about that. But recently, with the whole like Logan Paul thing, the massive blow up on Pokemon cards, the fakes are getting ridiculous man now if you collect pokemon cards or if you're an avid fan then you know charizard is the man i mean whatever set you have if you have a charizard you have money you get him graded you have even more money so obviously all the scammers all the fake artists all those like goons yo they're gonna make fake ass charizard cards i'm gonna be showcasing two cards and going through what makes them fake the differences between fake ones and real ones and hopefully if this video helps one person my mission is complete hopefully it helps way more my mate got scammed yo and he knows his cards he bought it late at night made a little mistake and uh yeah he's got himself a fake card so the first card i want to show you is this this ladies and gentlemen is a charizard ex promo card and it is a fake now there's three things that you can pretty much do to every single card to determine if they are fake or not. The third one, to be fair, you kind of need the card in your hand. So I'm going to really focus on the first two. First of all, if you go right to the top where it says Charizard EX, you'll notice where it says Charizard, it's got like a yellow border on his name. And the EX is not in HD. It's kind of bold. That is indication one that you're looking at a fake. And this card is the genuine Charizard EX promo card. You'll notice straight away where it says Charizard at the top. The border is now in white. EX is not bold and blurry anymore. It's totally HD. Now, obviously, me showing you these cards like this is pretty much... It's obvious that it's a fake. It's obviously something is not right. But if you're on eBay and you're looking quick and you're on, like, the countdown and the bid's about to end and you bid it and you're not paying full attention, you could get scammed. So... That is the first indication for this card on the front. Now let's look at the back. Right, so this is the back of the fake card. Now, there's no point me explaining it. I'm just going to show you straight away the genuine card. So this is the genuine card. Now, have a look at the font around where it says Pokemon and have a look at the color of blue. This is the fake card again. You can tell the blue and even the yellow, to be fair, they're like really saturated they look they don't look good like it just doesn't look right if you go back to the og card you can tell you can clearly see it says pokemon you go back it's kind of like a blurred color between the side of the font and the background and you can tell something's not right anytime you see cards like this or they're highly saturated or a little bit blurry or the colors are just they're just not right. You're pretty much looking at a fake card. Third and final thing, ladies and gentlemen, is the size of the card and the feel of the card. Obviously, feel-wise, I can't really explain it, but it feels fake. It feels glossy. It just doesn't feel right. If you have any genuine Pokemon cards and you feel a fake one, you will know immediately. Also, sizes of fake cards are normally a little bit off, and Pokemon, all their cards are the same size, y'all. Don't... The seller tried telling my mate... That because it's a promo card, it's a little bit smaller. Just get in the bin, mate. I've got a bunch of promo cards, Pikachu, Mew, Dragonite. They're all the same size. Don't get fooled at all, man. Right, so that is the Charizard EX. Now, I've personally been seeing that card on eBay everywhere, y'all. So I just wanted to make it crystal clear the differences between a fake one and a real one. Now, culprit number two, y'all. This is the big one. This is my Charizard VMAX from the Darkness Ablaze pack. It is 100% genuine, but I'm going to quickly throw up a fake card on the screen. And this is a fake Charizard VMAX. And you might be looking and thinking, yo, man, they really look the same, but there is one massive difference. If I hold this card in certain angles, you can actually see there's a pattern going over the card. And that pattern is actually textured, ladies and gentlemen. You can feel that with your finger. It doesn't feel like a standard card and just to like show you another version this is my mega charizard ex you can also see the pattern on the front of the card it's textured actually to be fair the mewtwo is probably the easiest one to see you can see the pattern goes through every inch of the front of the card and you can genuinely feel that so there's no fool in that in person and if we go back to the fake card you can see there's no texture on the front of the card whatsoever in fact there's actually a video i love that they're showing the shine but there's no texture at all this is a hundred percent fake and real talk ladies and gentlemen this card is hella expensive man i mean it's going for like 100 pounds 150 pounds once they graded they're going even more be careful man if you're not a big pokemon collector you're not a big fan you're only just getting into the hobby be careful man don't get scammed especially on ebay yo because they will put a few things out like they might hide in very small font 
that this is a proxy card or, or something and sometimes sellers don't even do that mate they don't even do that and the absolute worst thing man if you buy these fake ass cards and then you buy a grade fit sleeve you send it to psa you spend money on fees shipping all that stuff to get it sent back for them to tell you your card's fake that is you're gonna be gutted man so be very very careful ladies and gentlemen if you're not 100 percent sure or you suspect something's a little bit fake there's a bunch of like reddit pages or just find people on instagram show them man because the pokemon community genuinely really really cool obviously you've got some sleaze balls and scumbags but they're just trying to steal your money and sell you fake cards so ladies and gentlemen i hope this video has helped someone i am definitely not an expert but i have been collecting cards for a while now i do know fakes i actually have some yo check this right so i'm going to use my man hooper and this dodgy ass fake trainer card on the right this right card is so badly fake look you can actually see where they chopped it man that is so bad and again flipped over you've got the fake card on the left real card on the right on the right you can see the logo pokemon is properly hd look at the color of the pokeball now look at the left one. The logo is, is blurry. The colours are off. The Pokeball ain't even the same colour, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video has helped someone. If it did help you or you know it's going to help someone else, please do drop a like and uh, I'll see you all in a bit.